take a look over here. Okay, so the font family is a little off, right? So let's get rid of this. And we'll look at the font family here is a little bolder than it is here. Um, so let's take a look at what's going on with the fonts. I'm gonna inspect the element here. So it looks like we're using Lato and Sans Serif. So we're using Lato and then Sans Serif is a fallback. If we come up here and we look at the head. So this looks like it's custom style being pulled in here. So it's the custom style.min.css. And they're setting this up for all headers and things here. So what we can do is we can grab this exact style and we can put it into our project as well. So I'm gonna copy that. And let's come back over here. And we could add this to a couple different places. So we could add this to like our main HTML template, or we could actually come in here and create our own kind of external style sheet thing for, for styles that aren't scoped. So we don't want these styles scoped to any particular H1 or H2. We want them for all H1s and H2s across the site. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a new folder inside my layout. I'm gonna call this style. And in style, I'll create a new file called global.css. And actually, sorry, I want this to be a spelt file, so not global.css, let's rename this global.spelt. So we still want the styles to get pulled into the normal spelt project, but we just want them to be global. So we'll create a style tag here, and we'll add the styles into that there. And you'll see that it's flagging some errors here. So it's saying that uh, the, it cannot find the elements to target these specific things because there's no markup in this file. Most felt files have some markup and some scripts and styles. Since we don't have any of those, it can't find those. So it would normally strip these styles out, but you can do a couple things here. You could do a global declaration like this. And basically what that does is that allows you to target these styles globally. So let me save that. And let's come over here and let's go to our page here and reload this. Okay, so you see that the font changed there. So that turned into a bolder font that looks a little more similar to this font here. So that's good. 